Let's get ready to griddle. Hi, y'all. Tonight, we're having tri-tip. Yeah. A couple of hours ago, I applied my secret seasoning. And, uh, had the griddle heating up, as you can tell by the smoke. We want the smoke. We want the smoke. These are really pretty ribeyes, or, or tri-tips. They're small, but are perfectly marbled. And with the salt, pepper, garlic, and other stuff in my seasoning, should, especially coarse grain salt is what you want on, on the meats to, to tenderize them and bring up the flavor. Um, so I'm going to let that go for a few minutes. Uh, anyway, I'm hoping for really good, delicious steaks. We'll see what happens. And uh, I may even go and get some butter. Maybe. Or huh, we could add ghee. Should we add ghee? Let's try some ghee. Uh-oh. It's getting away. Let it get away. Ghee probably more than anything else. It's always trying to sneak out the back door. So, Baja is greeting someone. And, uh, Probably. Oh, you're back already? Must be a false alarm. Okay, we'll let those go a few minutes and we'll be right back. And welcome back. Uh, steaks getting browned nicely. Put the sides there. My lovely assistant prefers her steak. To be uh, well done, but I don't hold that against her. Other than that, she's got good taste because she has me, right? Let's uh, da, da, da. A little this even. Almost out of my ghee. It's getting close to time to make my own i'm gonna try to do it on the griddle i think i've mentioned that before anyway um i prefer my steaks done the way they were meant to be uh, medium medium rare sometimes rare to medium rare but no more than medium rare, except sometimes if you stick a leftover steak in the air fryer and let it go, man, it comes out so good because it's so crispy. But that's a completely different story. So let's flip. Oh, yeah. That's looking good. Oh, it's so pretty. Just, you want to close up? Look, look how pretty. That's the ghee that's smoking. As flavorful as ghee is, it doesn't really care for higher temperatures much. And this is actually down to medium low now. But I started at a higher temp. Just because. Can you see maybe, uh, well, we've got the gear. Let's, let's add a little here just to. See what that'll do to a uh, tri tip. 
flavor. You know what else we could do just to make it interesting? We could get some steam action going. I think the last time I did a steak, I did it on a rack on the griddle and had the steam going and or maybe that was turkey or maybe that wasn't even me I can't remember but man it came out so so good um cause it the juices uh keep going keeping it on the rack instead of the griddle helped keep it from burning But I eventually took it off because it cooks a lot slower that way. Let's see what we got. Oh. Yeah. We're getting some. Good coloration. And if you excuse me, I have to wash my spatula because I dropped it. Not spatula, scraper. And we'll be back. And welcome back. Let's see. Oh yeah, we're getting a nice sear on both sides. Mine's ready, I'm sure. She'll probably want hers to cook another hour or so. And let me find the pictures if I can. My pictures. Ah, I know what happened. I left them when we went camping. They got put in the wrong spot, so. Oh, that's so tender. I'm going to hold that up with the knife. Maybe at the spatula, too. And a nice holding. Getting a sear on the edges. This is the reverse sear. You experts already know that, but we're not all experts, I'm sure not. But that seals in the flavor. And before I started doing the reverse here, I did do quite a bit of reading on it. Okay, I watched one YouTube video. No, I did read. Did some research. And it actually does make sense. Uh, and when, it, when you see it right away, your, your, the, the heat can't get to the meat. This way, you cook it slowly under a moderate medium heat. The juices stay inside, and then you sear them in at the end. That's the theory, anyway. And if I smart, I'd be turning up the heat so it'd sear better. Nobody's ever accused me of being smart. Smart ass a few times, a smart aleck. Just don't call me late for supper. This is 
so you don't eat the smaller ones, so. I'll leave hers on longer. Mine's definitely done, so. Check it out. Can you see it? Mmm. Oh. It is good. Make you want to slap your mama. Right, Baja? Tell I've cranked up the heat now. This one's a little bit of an odd shape, so it's a little harder to sear. Oh, yeah. I think even she'll be happy with hers. Let's uh, do a little cutting here. Yep, there's no pink left. Hers is done. So. We got some scraping to do, y'all. Here is the yummy steaks. Mm -hmm. I know the sun's in your eyes. It's getting ready to go over the mountain. Anyway, that's our steak dinner for the night. Thanks for watching, and uh, that's a wrap, y'all.